it over here, Big G. Y'all watch this. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. That's good, Randall. <laughs> Randy <laughs> Watson. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last day. Like this it. is the last little hoorah for these two knuckleheads. We gotta try to get the squirrel turkey. And uh, he's got the perfect plan to get it all taken care of. <laughs> Slim pick. Slim pick. Ooh, yeah. I certainly need that this I bet morning. I'll put on fresh pants. No. <laughs> I'm wearing the same pants I've worn since we took that shower Wednesday. Well, well, these are greasy. I'm mean greasy. I'm I smelled wearing... the crotch this morning just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, let me say it wasn't as fun as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I smelled the crotch. Mm. Huh. I don't even have to try to smell mine. <laughs> it's there, huh? It's there, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have not started in a half mile of turkey all week, have we? No. <laughs> like every morning, we can't lock up and be close to one off a stick. And when we start when we need to, they're not there. Yeah, they're not there when we start going in. Goodness gracious. Imagine if you would have caught one yesterday. Yeah. Would have been all over. Something squirrel. I don't have much to say. Don't have much to say. Mm. The uh, turkey we heard a couple times in the absolute distance of all distances. We get there and we ain't heard them since. So it's back to the burn your feet off all day. We're fixing to start uh, kicking through some what looks like good ground and yipping and see if we can strike one. Did you get your feet wet? Did you get wet, boy? Oh, yeah. Got wet? You got the left one this morning, now you got the right one? I got them both now. Oh, man, he's he's winning today, buddy. He's winning today. There's a squirrel right there, I think. Taking a break. I ain't heard nothing, ain't seen nothing. Well, it's just me. Squirrel and Chubbs had to go jump back into the stuff of the real world. Squirrel was screaming about something about protein stacking and macros or something. I think he had some kind of gym competition and of course Chubbs had another chili cook off, so they had to get back to get back home. Just left me out here, so I'm out of ice. So what I'm doing is uh we can have a good lunch. Squirrel had some fajita meat that he brought, and we had fajitas one night, but he's left a little bit of it, and I'm out of ice, so if you don't cook this meat, it's gonna be going bad pretty quick. So I'm finna to uh, cook it up here, I hope. or the Blair Witch Project but it's raining again this morning that's it you can hear hitting the tarp I'm up sitting up under the tarp 
Got everything squared away and on go, ready to go. Just me this morning. We'll go to a different area. We have uh, we found some turkey, a couple turkeys, a few turkeys. We've rode them turkeys for the past week, just in just a couple areas. We've approached them from different angles and all kind of different ways to jazz it up, but we've been hunting the same area. And uh, we're going somewhere different this morning. Now, I don't want to call it a lazy day, but it's not going to be, it's not intended to be as strenuous as the last week has been because we're only going to hunt a few hours here at the beginning of daylight if the rain quits anyway. silence otherwise other than the rain falling it's been silence we're gonna go on a little walk about here probably a few miles maybe a little better I promised myself a quick morning this morning um, so this is gonna be it for today I had absolutely all I could take of them heavy knee boots for today we got wet feet and tennis shoes. Trying to look for some sign, trying to get some clues. If I could get a fresh gobbler track, let me know there's one in the area. Just give me somewhere to start, because it don't seem like these jokers are going to be gobbling what we got up here. It's a big pine flat, so we're going to walk our way into it, make a loop through it, and that'll probably be all we're going to do for today. So you can tell the wind's up. Not that a turkey was going to gobble for us to hear anyway, but if there was a chance, probably isn't anymore. Can't ever tell. You don't know unless you're out there and we're out here, so. Finding a little turkey sign at least. Some hen tracks up and down this road pretty, pretty readily. Ain't seen a gobbler yet, but surely they ain't too far behind. It's another day in Florida, believe it or not. It's another day without having a clue where to start, but I'm gonna go in after these turkeys again, but we're gonna approach it from a different angle. It takes a little effort to get in here, but uh, gotta walk up and around this old road system, and I just cut some, I think we're about an hour before daylight, and I just cut some really fresh boot tracks. So, I mean, it looked like today fresh. I'm hoping that they were yesterday. That obviously means somebody's been in here hunting this turkey from this angle, which I was hoping to be the first to do. But uh, hopefully it was yesterday, not today. If so, we'll have to back up or go wide or something when we get up here. Plenty of ground to hunt, but I don't want to get on top of anybody, especially if they was first. But anyways, I got some ground to cover, so we will uh, catch up with you guys probably when that sky behind me starts brightening up a little bit.
I'm assuming he's on the ground now, so pretty decent looking little opening here in front of us. We'll see.
Savage Farm right there. He was on top of me. Wow. Boys, that's why we do it. I did remember to turn, turn the turn the uh, barrel camera on that time. I looked at the last minute and this thing was glaring like new money. I got nervous and took it off my shoulder and put it on the ground. Oh. Them turkeys, they get me. Goodness gracious, thank you, Lord. What a flipping turkey, huh? How close is that turkey? All he had to do is hear the call. Mm -mm -mm. Sharp spur turkey, log sharp spurs. Mm -mm -mm. The wings are black as night. Whew, that was a good turkey hunt. That was a good turkey hunt. Alright, let's see. I took a moment for myself there, so you can see the sun's coming up just a touch. I'm going to walk y'all through this before we hung him up and did our thing and smoked a cigar. But, uh, man, it's just been a not a tough spring. It's just been more challenging than last year. We'll call it tough. One of the toughest I can remember as far as lack of gobbling turkeys, lack of turkeys that will gobble. Um, enough to kill them um, Kind of a, not a lack of turkeys. We're seeing turkey sign um, You know, they're there. It's just uh, We've just gotten spoiled over the last handful of years. Honestly, this is a uh, squirrel and I talked about this feels a little bit more like the days of old when we used to hunt this place and You'd go days without hearing a turkey and you'd hear one turkey and then you may not hear another turkey for two miles But anyways, I wanted to walk you guys through this what happened here. I started way off this way I heard the turkey in these these pines behind me here. You can see how open these pines are at this little edge. And uh, I was coming down this thing, and the turkey gobbled up here probably 200, 250. Not super, super close, but not, you know, you can see if he's up in a tree, he can see pretty good ways. And I saw this little lane and this little opening here. I thought, man, that'd be a good place to kill a turkey. So when he gobbled, I said, he's, he's plenty close enough to hear the call. I dove into this burnt palm over here bunch of old cabbage palm I mean bunch of old palm fronds and stuff laid up I pulled them up around me pointed down the lane by the time I got situated and everything I knew he'd probably on the ground and I yelped to him expecting him to gobble back in here I never heard the turkey fly down or anything like I said I wasn't super close to him but anyways I did some soft tree calling and then and, you know kind of started with some volume because I knew I had to get through these palmettas to to reach him and it wasn't until I got up on that volume he gobbled and he had went I mean from where he was roosted I'm gonna say he went 125 150 yards he was over here and he was all the way well to the east as you can see as the Sun comes up and so I had to pivot and I threw my call to the left so that he would play toward my larger open spot and buddy I mean he read this script he did exactly I made eye contact with him or I saw him, he didn't see me obviously, so I don't know if you'd call it eye contact, but I saw his a white head and he was coming through there just on a march and I had to wait on him to get around this cabbage pond right here. He was walking to the left just as calmly as you can, just on his little march. I let him get behind that 
cabbage palm and I made my move to the left side of it and he stepped out right here at 19 yards what it ended up being and it was simple as that I mean right place you know just just getting into the right spot that's all that was finding the right turkey more than anything because once he heard that call he gobbled at it I got situated yelped right back at him he gobbled it in I cut at him a time or two and uh, that was it I will say he started marching and obviously got content on where he knew the hen was because I yelped at him a time or two when I knew he should have been close to kind of figure out where he was gonna pop up at and he didn't gobble a crow was above me calling and he didn't gobble at that either but he just popped up right here as a matter of fact when he came out from behind that cabbage palm he was three-quarter strut he he was still completely fooled but I can honestly say I think this is the first time I have ever killed a turkey in Under Armour tennis shoes maybe tennis shoes as a whole but definitely Under Armour tennis shoes first one first time for everything that was fun. We've been playing cat and mouse with these turkeys like you wouldn't believe. I tried to come in the back door this morning and uh, we've been approaching these turkeys from the other side like day in day out and I found this fresh track yesterday and um, knew he's in here. Turkeys just haven't been gobbling. If they have been gobbling it's just been a handful of times and had not been able to get with them. What luck we've had has been right in the middle of the day and say, like the turkey I killed uh, last week, what, what is it, yep, last week, almost a week ago, gobbled. When we got in tight on him, he gobbled three times at a crow, gobbled one time at the call, and we killed him. The one Chubbs killed a couple days ago, we got in tight on him, he gobbled. Uh, once we got in on him, you know, this was when we struck him to kill him, he gobbled. We got a hen to cutting. Um, we sat down on the hen. He didn't gobble at that. Then he gobbled at uh, something. So he gobbled twice. He gobbled at something as we were setting up. Squirrel heard him. Chubbs yelped at him and he gobbled again. That's the two times that he gobbled before we killed him. I mean, it was just been, just, boy, they've been stingy with him this year. But uh, this is by far the closest I've started as a to a turkey all year for sure we ain't been within a country mile it seems like every morning we move to where we think they're gonna make a shift move to where we think they're gonna be and nothing or we just i mean it's literally like a as, as far as you can hear them this today this this boy was as close as we've been all spring for sure i probably advanced on him about 200 yards and i think he was about 200 250 on the limb and boy, he was he was ready because he gobbled I think six or seven times on the limb, and then he gobbled probably six, eight times on the ground on the way in. So I can say he had not gobbled on the ground until he gobbled at the call. So he wasn't just going to be out gobbling on his own free gobbling. He was he was going to have to be provoked, and he didn't gobble at the crows that were flying over nothing. He only gobbled at the open, but he did that four or five times and made his way in to 19 yards. Mm, man, I love it. So, we're going to dedicate this one to wet springs and quiet Osceola turkeys because that's what we've had. And we'll go ahead and toast Spring 24 as well. Because she's going. She's moving right along. Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down in the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop-down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.